Hello my skulls! Based on my latest video, I got a lot of support from you and from my followers from Instagram and Facebook page to continue with this Jessica style. So I was thinking, I can use Jessica style and to create a lot of cosplays. And I have a lot of characters, you know, on my mind. And I, and I don't know from where to start. <laughs> this will be a big experiment. Sally is on my menu today. And now let's get started. Oh my god, I even don't know from where to start. I found a name. Sally on fire. Let's clean my face and I will start. Let's cover my eyebrow first because I will have a big upper eyelid. I hate when I do this because I need a lot of time just to cover my eyebrow. I don't have eyebrows, just you know, a little bit, but I need to cover them. I'm using skin tone pencil to create my new eyelid and I took this tone because this part of my face will be totally blue so I just want to be sure I don't want to mix with dark pencil I will make it wider a little bit before I paint my face uh, with blue paint I will add this part to make it white so this is just like a border you know to, to see where I will apply white I want to have that cat eye I'm going with light blue color so th th this is um this is not just light blue I mixed um, light blue and white paint don't want my face to look dark, dark blue. So this is just a base I will contour later. Nah, nah, I will add first with the brush. <gasps> yes! To avoid those strokes I am making with my brush, I will blend with my beauty blender. You know, sometimes I regret in these cases why I don't use airbrush, but Cleaning the brush gun is boring. This is easier way. That's why I use just brushes. No, it's not easier way. I'm lazy. <laughs> With my body paint sponge, I will paint the rest of my body and just one hand. Going now with P. Louise eyeshadow base in light blue color to cover my lid and eyebrows I want to apply this base into my eyebrows first I will set my base with white in the middle of my eye to be the lightest tone of my lid I'm using Creon eyeshadow palette light blue for middle tone I'm taking this Make Waves eyeshadow for edges so this darker tone will go around to make 3D I don't know why I closed my eye Ah, looks fabulous! First, I will outline my eye with black pencil. When we are talking about lines, I am crazy. I, I, I want everything to be perfect. When I finish with pencil, I am going with Inglot eyeliner. You see what I'm talking about? <laughs> Long eyeliner. God, 
I love this brush. Let's add some white eyeliner here. Adding supra color in white just to make this part lighter. Nice girl! Going back with dark blue to create some depth. Okay, I change my brush because I want this part to be blended good. While I'm still with this dark blue, I will create my nose. New small nose. But like the last time, my hair will be here. This is how you need to contour your nose. Okay, go in with my Supra and highlight my nose. For my eyebrow, I will use blue NYX pencil, adding dark blue eyeshadow and a little bit of Supra on the top. Still with Supra and I'm adding here to make some highlights. Adding the same dark blue eyeshadow and contour my cheekbones. My battery was low, so in in, in, blah, 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 blah. in meanwhile, I added some eyelashes here and here. God, this face needs Botox. Okay, where we have stitches? We have stitches here. In the middle. This. I, I recently got this pencil from LA Girl and it's it's a little bit neon but but I think it's gonna be great if I add this on my lines. Nice! And I will not leave just line, I will blend. Uh, I will mix Inglot blue and black liner and I will add lines here. I mean, in the middle. For stitches, I will use crayon because it's faster. With the black body paint, I will bold stitches. Adding highlights with Supra color. Adding just in the middle. Finish with my face, I am adding lipstick in red and pencil in red. Maybe I needed to make them bigger. But I will finish at the end. As you see, I already did the sketch and now I will put tape on my belly button so I can paint over it. First I will start with this blue. No, it's not good. I need green. I will mix green and blue. On this part will be black. Adding black. Add lines. Next one is yellow. This upper part will be yellow too but with brown lines. While this yellow is getting dry, I will do other side. Adding brown lines on yellow. With black paint, I will add stitches. Black body paint to make that negative space so I can have tiny waist. Adding brown eyeshadow. To create 3D look, dark pink eyeshadow on the edges. So my surface is bigger here, and that's why I'm using bigger brush. Going back with Supra Color to add some highlights. Now I will finish the rest of my body off the camera, and I will be back soon. Hello, I am New Sally. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment and share.